Joining me now to look at some amazing holiday destinations is Troy Ackerman from Globus. Morning, Troy. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. We enjoyed Excellent. hearing about Europe last month, yes. but I believe you've got some other exotic locations you can tell us about. Yeah, we do. Um, we're very well known for the good work that we do in Europe and North America from a river cruise and touring perspective. Um, and we've also got you know thousands of Kiwis that have travelled with us uh, to those destinations. What we're finding now is that those people are wanting to come back, uh, which is great, but they're also wanting to travel um, more exotically. So destinations that we look after, such as Africa, South America and um, Asia, become really, really popular. What are some of the other Asian tour options that are available? Yeah, so I suppose the most popular Asian destination we've got at the moment is Vietnam, and in our river cruising itinerary from Ho Chi Minh City up to Sien Reap. Um, taking on the Mekong River and everything that uh, it's got to offer. Um, but from a touring perspective, Japan's become incredibly popular. Um, and what we're able to do is to give people um, access to the amazing hustling busty cities, but also the really intimate experiences such as your, your tea ceremonies, your cultural gardens, um, you know, your visits to Mount Fuji. Um, you know, Japan's a fantastic destination. I was lucky enough to be there a couple of weeks ago, and it's just a great way to, to go and experience it. I just love that Japan has really always been on my list mm. of places that I've wanted to see. Now you're planning a trip to Japan, are there any other exotic tours that you have on offer aside from that? Yes, yeah, so South America is becoming uh, increasingly popular. Um, just and we, we cover it from top to toe so we, we have um, itineraries that focus up in uh, Peru so you can go and see Machu Picchu we've got the Galapagos Islands we've got Brazil we've got tours that cover everything you can get up to uh, Ecuador um, really really nice way to see it and in a very um, sort of safe environment they sound like trips of mm. a lifetime I'm sure anything else you've got yeah so Africa um, is, is a relatively new one for us uh, again um, we can offer safaris, we can offer the major cities, and we've actually just released a brand new brochure featuring our Africa um, and Asia itineraries, and that's out available now. What would be your favourite place, you know, if we were just talking to you personally? I know yes. it might be like trying to choose a favourite child, but yes. what would it be? Yeah, look, I was lucky enough to be in Peru a couple of years ago, and that would really have to be the highlight for me. Um, and it was just the way that we sort of got people around that destination that worked really well for me. For example, we went up to Machu Picchu, which is obviously fairly popular. Uh, what we're able to do is we get there in the afternoon, um, we have a look at sunset, which is fantastic, but then we go back the following day and give you sun um, rise as well. So again, being able to experience it, the different lights, the different shades, um, it really was quite remarkable. In terms of safaris, I, I know that, you know, we probably have an image of what a mm. safari is. What would you recommend in sort of that space if we were thinking of going outside of the ordinary with a safari? Yeah, so what we're looking at is small intimate groups. Um, obviously to make sure that we're, we're giving people the best experience we possibly can, but also making sure that we're not actually interrupting the local balance of the environment mm. um, and we've got a fairly small footprint. So, um, you know, small um, safari vehicles, small groups, really good intimate way to get up and see uh, things that you want to see. With all of these options, and I mean there is so mm. much to choose from, how do you choose? Yeah, look, it's, you get a list and you tick them all off. <laughs> um, and which is where we're really coming into our own, because as I said, a lot of people have done Europe and North America with us. They're now looking to expand uh, their bucket list, as it were, um, and we can literally cover them. What I love is, you know, people say, why work with, with a touring company mm. or indeed a travel agent or whatever? And I think you've made the answer abundantly clear. Mm. You, you know what's good, you know those things that maybe not everyone has seen, you're very mindful of the cultures and the yes. people that are living there. Uh, and it, it just adds that extra little bit, doesn't it? To yeah. We, we, look, we look after all those nasty little logistical things that sort of get in the way of people enjoying a nice relaxing holiday. Yeah. Um, we cover all the main things that people want to do, but more often than not we actually do so for better value for money than what people can do for themselves. And in terms of a tour, I guess people might think that you, you are bound to that, but can you add bits and pieces on? What can you add? Yeah, by all means. So, you know, we can do pre and post accommodation. Um, people quite often do back-to-back -back tours or back-to-back -back tours and cruise um, to sort of flesh out the itinerary a little bit more. Um, so yeah, there's lots of options there. I love that. How can we find out more? Right, so uh, contact your local travel agency uh, or come through to direct to us. We'll go to one of our websites uh, and all the information's there. Troy, thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. And if you'd like to find out more about any of the 2019 exotic programs with Avalon Waterways, Cosmos and Globus Tours, call your travel agent now or call the Globus family of brands on 0800 267 668.